Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Do you know God has a beautiful voice? You know you can actually hear it? When I first got saved, I wasn't sure I would ever hear the voice of God. I would hear people say, God spoke to me and said this, that, or the other. And I thought, wow, they must be giants in the Lord because, you know, God wouldn't say anything to me. You know how we think. Well, let me tell you, there are like, I would say maybe three to five reasons God will speak to you. One he will speak to you to give you a heads up that he's getting ready to do something and he wants you to prepare. Number two, God is telling you that something is going to happen in spite of your efforts to prepare you to deal with the outcome. Number three, <clears throat> I'm telling you, this is crazy. God will warn you in some of the craziest ways. Number four, God will rebuke you, give you a word of correction, straighten your act up. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Now, if God brings another example to my mind, I'll say it. But for right now, we're going to use those four. Now, the first time God spoke to me, I was sitting in church during the altar call. And I got this tingling sensation throughout my whole body. If you were to put a sound to it, it would sound like those real high-pitched tones of uh, wind chimes that... I mean, just really just beautiful, angelic, heavenly, the whole nine yards. And that's the feeling I got. That didn't sound like it. That's just the way it felt. And that's the only way I could describe the feeling. And it was from head to toe, I felt it inside and out. Then I heard God say, get ready to know your calling. Whew. All right. <clears throat> Number two, another time I heard God's voice. I'm saying this because I was the biggest nobody in my church, and God still spoke to me. I want you to know you can hear God's voice too. Another time God spoke to me, I was um, in a position where I was on the phone praying with my ex-husband. He had a serious addiction to pornography and prostitution. So, all the loving I was supposed to get, he gave to them. I had to, you know, abstain from my own protection after a while. But, in this particular time, we were trying to fight this thing together. So he called me and told me he was being tempted. And I prayed for him. This is where God was preparing me for an outcome. He, uh, he prayed, I prayed, I cast out, I bound, I rebuked, I took authority over every demon on the, in the universe I could think of. And I felt like we had been successful, he was trying. I would try with him. I said, you know, you keep trying, I'll work with you. And we did it. Mm -hmm. I took that phone and I'm hanging it down on the cradle. And just as plain as day, I heard God say, he's going to do it anyway. <laughs> I was like, okay, Lord, if he's going to do it, would you please make sure he does not bring anything home to me? All right, number three, I'm walking down the street in the middle of the night, about nine o'clock at night, got off the bus, some guys over to the right, something to my left, I don't know is there. It's nighttime, I'm not seeing anything but what looks normal. And God says three times, cross over to the other side. By the time I got through talking nonsense on the third time, 
it went from a stern to a yell. Cross over to the other side now. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. What he made me avoid was a dog standing there marking his turf, watching over it with vehement force. And I would have been minced meat, minced meat, had I not obeyed God at that last moment. It would have been one second too late if I had taken one more step. I didn't even see him there. He blended into the darkness. He was quiet. He was wily. He, uh, he, he had the look of murder on his eyes. And his tail was sticking straight out like an arrow. I was like, whoa, what did I just avoid? And number four. <laughs> that was when God spoke to me in the word of correction. Yes, he did. <clears throat> and that was when he told me during a fast that the church was on at a Wednesday night service. You are jealous of her. I couldn't believe I, I was like, oh my goodness. And then as I started to debate, he ran every thought I had toward that woman. And I was like, I am jealous. I, w I didn't even know it till he rehearsed every thought. I was jealous of her beautiful voice. So I'm just trying to explain to you how God will talk to you. He, he gave me a few other warnings. One time he told me, look out the window. I mean, just, just a little short little short spurts and I mean they spoke volumes God will speak to you he really will ask God to give you an ear to hear and a heart to obey all right God bless you as you look and listen for God's beautiful voice <laughs>